This is the tutorial on setting up your virtual job fair chat login. In the previous video, I've shown you how to set up your virtual job fair booth. So let's use the example of the test company that I created. As you can see in the back end site, it says test company. You should have already received a chat username and login for how many people you want to be available to chat during the virtual job fair. Once you have these username and passwords, you can go ahead and set up your profile. As you can see, I've already inserted the username for the test company that we were using for as an example right here at the very end where it says chat zero. That will be the first person's login. This information right here will already be given to you, but the other side of the login will actually be ha per registrant. For instance, if you have one person, it'll be chat zero. If you have two people, the first person's login will be chat zero. The second person's login will be chat one and this will already be explained in the email you have received the passwords staying the same and then you can go ahead and log in once you are logged in you can see that the company's name is at the very top what you need to do is go to my profile and right here I have inserted the information that we are going to need to change. For instance, the name for the company will be test company. Now this is just for this example. Yours will be the name of the company. The last name will be whichever name you desire to be shown as your name. So for this example, I just put John Doe. The email will be your email. For instance, I just put test at testcompany.com. And if you want to add a Skype, you can go ahead and add a Skype. I'm going to save this. Now, as you can see, it's still this up here. But if you go ahead and refresh the page, and you go to my profile, all of a sudden it says your company and then your name at the bottom. So when you go into the chat, your chat will actually say test company. Therefore, the job candidates can actually distinguish who the chat people are. Here is another example. Here was the previous username, chat zero, but let's say I want to have an extra person to be able to chat. All we I would do is just change that to chat one, add the password, and then log in. When you go under my profile, as you can see, this is blank as to what you would normally see. Here's the generic username we have generated for you. Once again, I'm going to change the name to test company. I'm going to switch this to Jane Doe. And email is going to be test1 at testcompany. Once you save it, it is saved. You can refresh the page. And when it shows up in your profile, alas, your name will actually be under your company's name. Once again, this is so that the job candidates can distinguish the actual companies versus a generic username. 